G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo and I'm bringing you another awesome vlog. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the top three pitfalls that you need to look out for before you buy your first property. So let's get it started. So guys, I've got no freaking clue what the hell is going on with my voice, but literally for the last four weeks, I have not been able to recover. Now I've tried all of my bloody lemon tea and honey and all that stuff, so I need a favor. If anyone's got a tip out there how I can recover my voice and really start sounding mean and loud like I always do, I'd love for you to comment below. But with that being said, guys, so the first thing that in my opinion you guys need to look out for, um, and that's a very big pitfall before you buy your first property, and I've said it before in many other videos and I'll say it again, it is working with the right people. There's a saying and it goes like this, business is easy, people make it difficult. You have to establish trust and relationships with people that are going to have the same bigger picture and vision in mind as you will. These people cannot be about instant gratification, they have to be about delayed gratification. And why, they, why I say this guys is because real estate is a long term play. It takes 5, 10 or 15 years to truly build a large and sustainable portfolio. You do not want to work with someone that is all about getting your money right now and today and then just moving on to another deal or to another individual, right? So really make sure that you've got the right people surrounding you from an attorney to a property manager to a, a you know rehab crew, a maintenance guy, a title company, a realtor. I mean, whatever it is, whoever it is that you will need to be able to work in real estate successfully, these are the people that you need to surround yourself with. And this is, this is, um, it stands for investing in your local market, like in your backyard or out of state or even out of country guys. Okay. So the first one is people. The second biggest pitfall that I see a lot of investors making is this. I see way too many investors paying way too much money for properties. I mean, guys, what I'm about to tell you right now, you can never forget. You make money when you buy and not when you sell. So stop bloody paying too much money for investment properties. I mean, it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And look, I made a big mistake when I first started. I was building my portfolio based on quantity. I wanted to be able to classify myself as this real estate entrepreneur and guru and real estate investor and whatnot. And I really wasn't thinking about why I was investing in real estate. I was just buying for the purpose of buying. And that was a huge mistake, guys, because ultimately what you really want to do is you want to buy the right house in the right area for the right price that needs the right amount of work so that property can actually get you a step closer to what your end goals are. It has to meet a certain cash flow criteria. And if you strategically purchase properties, guys, to meet your end goals and meet your cash flow um, criteria, you really don't need that much quantity to your portfolio. You can buy five, 10 or 15 single family homes. You can sell out of that package, purchase one multifamily deal that can literally give you financial freedom. I kid you not because I'm actually in the process of doing that right now. So um, just to summarize this second little pitfall here guys is negotiate hard, be patient, buy cheap and only pull the trigger when all of those make sense. And guys, the last but not least pitfall is this. Stop buying properties that need way too much work. I mean, seriously guys, you've never done a deal in your life. This is the first deal that you are looking at doing. Why the hell are you even considering buying $14 million commercial real estate in the heart of New York City? I mean, hello? Start off small. Buy a property that just needs a cosmetic rehab. Literally, paint, carpet, landscaping, replace the light fittings. I mean, I already mentioned in Pitfall 2 that you make money when you buy and not when you sell. And I personally believe that no matter how hot any market is, if you are patient, if you know where to look, if you've got some great acquisition acquiring, I'm sorry, lead generation strategies to acquire properties, I think you can make money in any market. You just might have to work a little bit harder for it, but still it really comes down to how much you pay for that property. So please make sure that when you do buy these properties, you are not buying one that, that needs structural renovation work, that needs a complete, you know, um, a floor plan rearrangement, you know, development approval from the city. I mean, you're kidding yourself. Guys, 
buy cheap, buy a property that just needs a cosmetic rehab, get in and out as quickly as you can because time is money. You'll probably make a ton of mistakes. Learn from those mistakes. Do not repeat them on your second deal. And I'll tell you this too. The least amount of money that you can invest in your first investment, the better because the least amount of money you invest, the least risk you will take. And even if that means buying a property in the heart of the ghetto, right? I know, in a very rough area, I still think you should consider it because you will learn a lot from that experience. So uh, guys, that pretty much concludes my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hey, if you have any other pitfalls that I maybe missed uh, um, in this vlog, I'd love to hear from you below. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to catching up, catching up with you guys in the comments below. That's pretty much it for now. Once again, I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. I'll catch up with you soon.